So here we go with our first C++ lesson. Now I'm going to go through all of the C++ kind of world. Uh, we're going to get warts and all. So we're going to see everything. We're going to see all my mistakes, because often from mistakes we can often learn the most. So before we get going, we need to start first of all with our very first program. Now typically this is called Hello World. Now I have um, the Xcode IDE here, which is on the Mac. Uh, this is a MacBook Pro. Uh, I'm not going to go into how to uh, download an IDE. Whatever system you've got, download your IDE from somewhere on, on your Windows PC or your Linux PC or whatever. I'm just going to do really bare code kind of knuckle programming here with this is going to be hard coded you know typing in at the command line i mean i'd like to use vi if i could but it probably is a little bit nicer using um, one of these development environments and so the one i've got here is xcode um, you use whatever your mileage goes for anyway here's our first ever program let's go top left up here and the first thing we need to do you just have to kind of trust me with this we need to um we need to include um a special library and the library we're going to go for here is io stream now oops there we go so c++ has lots of libraries and we need this one to get input into and out of the program so the i stands for input the o stands for output streaming streaming information in streaming information out we just need this to do anything i mean c++ will work without this you just won't be able to see anything it's kind of like a pc without a monitor or a or a speaker or a, or anything or a keyboard this is kind of the keyboard and the monitor system which comes built in with uh, with your basic c++ uh, system now we're going to use a couple of commands uh, well one actually c out um, we have a thing called namespaces now namespaces is, is a little little locations little islands where little people live and one of these little people is called c out and they live on the main kind of island, this island called Standard. So if you think of the UK, this is the kind of main island where England is. There's other little islands around, like the Isle of Man and um, Channel Islands and the Isle of Wight and various other little islands, silly islands and so on. But the main island is the England, Scotland, Wales, mainland island. So we need to tell C++ that we're using the standard naming convention for the island, so it's going to be Jack and John and Peter and Jenny and Susan, and so it needs to know who we're going to be using. So we're going to use namespace. So please use the main island and use the standard names on the main island. Now we have to put a semicolon there. That's got to be done. So we have to put a semicolon. You see, you've got a little error there. If I don't put the semicolon on my development environment. Um, now, every C++ program has an int main. And what does that mean? It's it's the main loop of the program. It's kind of like think of um, think of the Queen of England. You know, she's got a castle. It's called Windsor Castle, and that's her main base of operations. So this is this is like saying I'm going to start from Windsor Castle. Now, the main program always will return an integer. Here, int. Now the integer is going to be 0 or 1. Now if it's 0, when it comes back to the main system, this Mac in, MacBook Pro system, a 0 means everything worked well. A 1 tends to mean something went wrong. We're not quite sure. It might not be a 1. We're not quite sure what it is, but 0 is perfection. So I think of 0 as being the shape of the universe, a big 0 type shape thing. It's perfect. So main... Um, that could take, those brackets indicate that this is a function. It's a very special function, a keyword with a main. Um, those brackets indicate that something could come in here. So Windsor Castle, we could insert some DNA into Windsor Castle and have some new babies being born there. But they, we're going to kind of do this de novo. No inputs, we've just got the basic thing. Then we have some, so we're going to return from this program, we're going to return a zero or a something else. It might not be a zero. Now we're going to put some braces. Now you can see I've got um, two braces there. And that's saying this is my field. So we're at Windsor Castle and we have a farmer's field in the grounds. And we're going to do our special things inside this farmer's field. Now all these fields need to have gates. These are the gates around the, this particular field. Now we're going to use this special C out, which comes from the, uh, the IO stream. And we don't need to 
fully qualify its full name, its full passport ID name, because we've got namespace standards. So C++ knows what that is and what it's for, and it's coming out of this place here. I think, I'm not entirely sure about that. It just doesn't work if, um, if you don't do that. Anyway, what we're going to print out. So we're going to pipe into that, or those arrows mean we're going to send something from the right-hand side into the left-hand side. And then that see how it's going to pump it to the screen, or whatever we've said is our main output area. Now that's actually going to be down here, down in this area down here. That's that's where my out is going to. So let's uh, let's put a string. So it's double speech marks, and you can put anything you want. Hello, banana. Um, take me to your leader. But. Uh, because this is the first program, I really got to be a bit strict with myself. So I've got to say hello world. There we are. I will put a smiley face. Why not? Okay. So speech marks, standard speech marks. It says this is a string, and it's going to be piped through this cannon here, shot into this C out, and then that's going to flow into this universe down here. Um, now. We don't just want it to end. We, we, what we'd like is a new line on the end so that we get a carriage return. So we're going to pump some extra kind of ammunition onto this thing as well. There we are. And we need a, we need a semicolon. These are, these are like full stops for C++. These tell C++ the sentence has ended. Execute this sentence and then move on to the next sentence and then execute and parse that one. Now we could just end here, um, C++ will assume that everything's ended okay, but we're going to be explicit and say everything, if you've got this far, everything's funky dunky. That's the end of another sentence. That zero is going to be what main returns as an integer, I think. I say I'm not the world's greatest expert on this stuff. I'm just uh, learning as I'm going along here as much as you. But we're trying to build towards financial applications. So uh, we're going to be doing some financial applications later. That's what I'm heading towards, but I need to get the basics in first. Now, let's let's run this. Let's see if I've typed it right. Might be errors here. Let's have a look. We the builder succeeded. Hello world. Now we can change this. Oh, let's put my hello banana. Take me to your leader. That's, that's more like it. We look at that. There we go. And I think that that's probably enough for the first lesson. So um, we've got something out. We've got um, load a library, load the English language dictionary library. We're going to use standard English names. This is where Windsor Castle is. We're going to return a little flag. If it's red, it's bad. If it's white, it's good. There's a white flag there saying everything's good. Uh, we're going to fire this new line into the cannon. That gives us a new line here. And we're going to put this string at the front of the cannon, and then we're going to fire that into this wormhole. That wormhole will then pump everything out into this uh, part of the world down here. So there's our first program in C++. Thank you very much, and good night.